My name is Taylor Hutchison, and I will be doing Beth's monologue from All I Really Needed to Know I Learned in Kindergarten. So there's this um, bench in the city where I live. Simple. Three slabs of smooth gray granite. It's on the highest ground of the highest hill in the city, so that when the sky is clear on a summer's morning, God, you can see about 60 miles in three directions. This bench is, in fact, a tombstone in a cemetery, and I would take you there to sit if I could. You wouldn't even know what it was at first. You know, the, the placement of the bench, the consciousness of the view, all say that someone went to a lot of trouble to be useful in death. You know, funerals have a certain narcissism to them, a focus on self. You know, what do I want from my funeral? What do I want from my epitaph? This bench is different, unique. It's just a, an open invitation to sit and think. It's funny, it's, a, it's become a, a spiritual retreat for me over the years. And I know that I'm not the only one to use it. Uh, one time I found a note that was taped under the bench. Oh, it wasn't for me. It was for a young woman from a man who was in love with her and who wrote her careless poetry with great passion. And no, I'm not sorry that I snooped. And yes, I put it back as I found it. And no, I did not hide in the bushes to see who came for the note. Secret lovers have enough problems as it is. It was on this bench that I came to that moment, you know, when one crosses over from the the abstract intellectual knowledge that that all human beings die to the active realization that I will die. Me. And you know, not only did I realize that I will die, but I walked away thinking, it's okay. You know, people will come and they will sit on this bench and they won't think of the name of its owner, but instead of, of the nameless joys of this sweet life and the mystery of death and, you know, how utterly amazing it all is. And that, you know, somehow, sometimes, things are just as they should be.